Entheogenesis australis has created this series of short videos describing a number of species of psilocybe and allied species found in Australia. In this video, I'm going to introduce and discuss the temperate species Psilocybe alutacea. Hello, my name is Kane Barlow. I'm an Australian mycologist. I have a particular interest in the genus Psilocybe, particularly Australian species. Psilocybe alutacea is still a fairly new psilocybe. The description was published in 2006 by Chang and Mills. There's still a lot of excitement about this species. We've only really known about them for about 15 years. So people are really keen to get out into the bush and to go and find them, to find them for their first time. The common name is the Poo Meany, uh, named by Bo Meister. Uh, in the Chang and Mills paper, the species was described as resembling Psilocybe semi-antiata. The pharmacology of the species is currently unknown. In terms of history, the holotype for the species was collected in 1990 by Wyers Chang, found on the Snug Falls track in Tasmania. Herbarium specimens were collected in 1990, 1991 and 2000. Uh, I recall in the early 90s in Tasmania, there were rumours getting around of a wombat poo loving psilocybe being found around Snug Falls uh, and people would quite often go looking for it. Uh, I never found one, unfortunately. Online reports uh, appeared on Mushroom Observer in 2011. And then further reports started appearing on other sites, the Shroomery, Mushroom Observer uh, and Facebook groups uh, from 2013, 2015. 2016, and now they're fairly regular. Again, the common name is the Pumini. A huge shout out to Bo Meister for a very, very cool name. The image on the right hand side here is the hand drawn uh, illustration for Zolosby Eludicea from the Chang, Gate, and Rakowski paper from 2006. This is Snug Falls in Tasmania where the first specimen was found. Uh, you can see in the photograph that it's mostly calodendrous rainforest uh, and then that would then uh, change into wet sclerophyll forest. The habitat for Psilocybe eludicea uh, is wet and dry eucalypt forest, uh, but also rainforest. It grows off animal dung, in particular wombat dung, and also wallaby dung. It's found in Tasmania, Victoria, South Australia, and is also known to occur in New Zealand. Its season, it grows generally between March to July, but has been found in, in February. Uh, there's the possibility that the season extends much greater, so we're still in the process of, of gathering that data as a community. Uh, I'm going to show some photographs of habitats where Eleusia occurs. So this is wet sclerophyll. You can see the eucalyptus, you can see the man ferns. Uh, you would expect a few other trees here as well, Bedfordia for example. Uh, temperate rainforest, uh, so this is a picture of Caledendrous rainforest from Tasmania. Uh, and this is the understory of, of uh, a similar kind of calodendrous rainforest. You can see the ferns uh, and all the broken uh, debris on the ground. This is an image provided by Tana Kulhas uh, showing uh, the mushroom against a five cent coin. You can see it's, it's not a huge mushroom. Taxonomically speaking, uh, Solosby Lucia, the cap is 13 millimetres in, in diameter, uh, conical or convex in shape. Uh, it's quite striate uh, and has a leathery brown to ochraceous brown colour. The gills, the attachment is adnate, uh, greyish brown in colour. The stem, 
46 millimetres tall, uh, white to pale brown. Uh, and as with many other psilocybe, uh, they bruise blue uh, where damaged. You can see in this image here on the right hand side, the, the, um, the described similarity to Semilanciata. The kind of that white, slightly brown, fibrous looking stem. When foraging for any kind of edible fungus, it's really important to be aware of the potential lookalike species. Uh, some are poisonous and some are deadly. Uh, our advice here at EGA uh, is to know the species that you are foraging for, understand the taxonomy and how the species is described, know its habitat and its substrate, but also to be aware of what poisonous lookalike species may exist. Uh, there are a few lookalikes, Deconica species, uh, as illustrated here on the right hand side, uh, but also Paniolus species and also Protostrophiria semiglobata uh, can also look similar. Thank you for joining me today as we've explored a number of Australian psilocybe species.